And we are back with uh, Channel 9 Live here at Ignite. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about one of my very favorite apps, which is Visual Studio Code. And so I'm here with Chris Diaz and Matt Hernandez from the Visual Studio Code team and everybody's favorite developer, Scott Hanselman. And also Visual Studio Code fan person. It, also Visual <laughs> Studio Code fan I person. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. So there's I been a lot of good stuff happening with, uh, with, with code these days. Um, what are some of your favorite things, Scott, that, that, that you've seen recently? Well, I've actually just literally gotten off stage after doing an entire session on .NET, and I was doing it with Scott Hunter, and he was using Visual Studio on Windows, and I was using Visual Studio Code, and we used, uh, so we used the C Sharp extension, we used the Azure extension, which is now an extension of extensions, so I had within that SQL Server and Functions and Docker. Uh, I used, I added a bunch of extensions from the community. Extensions, like I just love them. I collect <laughs> them like Pokemon. <laughs> uh, gotta, gotta catch them all. I, I was actually using an open source uh, code coverage tool called Coverlet that generates an open cover file called an LCUB that gave me then code coverage gutters. So as you're looking at your code, it's putting a, a color by uh, you know, green or red, depending on whether or not your test executed your code. And since Scott Hunter is colorblind, it's just a gray line uh, along the side. But for me, it was amazing. And uh, I, I was digging it. Like the, the idea that I could put together a really professional experience with a test explorer for .NET, with code coverage, all bringing together open source tools. And I would have felt in the past like I was cobbling together open source tools, but it wasn't cobbling anything at all together. It's like, get these three extensions, make sure this path is this way, set these settings. And I just have this great workflow, and it's fantastic. Awesome. So, uh, Matt, I know that you work on a lot of the Azure extensions, right? You do all the Azure packs? That's right, yeah. The app service functions, Cosmos, storage, all of those extensions, those are, those are in my team. Um, and what's, uh, what's, what new, have, is there anything particularly new and cool that, 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 uh, that you come up with lately that you want to kind of tell people about that's particularly uh, exciting? Probably big stuff would be the functions extension now supports V2, with V2 being generally available. Uh, so V2 is going to be the default experience, so everybody on Mac, all of that stuff will work really well. Uh, the other big thing I'd like to say is that we, my team recently took over the Docker extension, which you mentioned, and so we're putting a lot of work into making that extension really, really great. So expect, awesome. expect you more take that stuff. that extension over from that? Uh, <laughs> my boss, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, uh, did, you write, did you write the Docker extension? I maintained it for quite a while. Really? Yeah. And he did a great job. Good he time. did a really good job. One, one of the things that surprised me was that when we did the app development uh, general session, the mini keynote, or the keynote zero. Keynote zero. Like diet keynote, uh, was uh, ordinarily when I do these things, I have VS Code, I have my browser, and I have a tab with the Azure portal open. Right. And it's like, all right, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go to the command line, I'm going to go to the portal. I'm going to do this, I'm going to go to the command line, I'm going to the portal. But now with the Docker extension, we were able to see our uh, con Azure Container registries. Yep. We did all of our Docker build. We did our Docker compose up. We pushed to the registry. We had a bad connection string. We fixed that with the Azure App Service extension to VS Code. I literally never went into the portal once. Are you trying to keep me out of the portal? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to keep you on, on the rails, right? Like just all the things that you need right there. So, but that is really the issue. It's That's not that you're trying to demo. keep me out of the portal. You're just trying to let me do my job without having a context switch. It's the, the, the common stuff that you have to do day in and day out. Make that available in the tool. And if there's other stuff you need to do in the portal, it's great. And the, the extensions actually have you know, right click and you can jump over to the portal and right. deep linking right into it. So. so try to strike that balance. <laughs> You're trying to keep me on the, like you said, on rails, right? On the rails, yes. On the rails. Uh, and, uh, and, and Chris, um, I know that, so one of the, when, when Azure DevOps was announced uh, a couple weeks ago, one of the things that came out with that was also the new uh, uh, GitHub uh, pull request extension. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's actually one of my uh, favorite new extensions that the, the team worked on. Uh, pretty deep collaboration with the GitHub folks. And so uh, on the, can we see it? Is it, is it available? Yeah, can we, can we put yeah. bring that yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah. Is this going to keep me on Rails too? I don't have to go to GitHub now? I mean, you can yeah. still go to GitHub. Yeah. Yeah, we're going we're gonna, to uh, pull up, uh, if we can pull up uh, Chris's uh, computer, uh, he can show us off um, some of this stuff. Is it going to come up on the back screen? Will I, when will I know? Uh, I don't know. So it oh, is already happening? Okay. All right. We're so we are live. So we Sorry. Sorry about that, there. guys. So we are live. So yeah, so we can see this, uh, this uh, great uh, uh, PR uh, extension. Yeah, so what's cool about this extension is that you know, we did it as a collaboration with GitHub. And in Visual Studio Code, we did the APIs to enable uh, pull requests not from just GitHub, it would be from, mm -hmm. from any provider. And uh, GitHub did the implementation on the pull request side. So we collaborated with them on that, which is actually pretty cool. And when you, uh, after you install the extension, it's got a great little uh, video to show you what's going on. 
when you come over to the, the viewlet on the left hand side, which is the, the Git viewlet where you can mm -hmm. see all your changes, there's a new thing over here. It's called, we call these sashes. It says GitHub pull requests based on the repository that I'm working on. The, the, the folder that I'm working on is connected to a repository so it knows where we are. And so in that, I can come in here and I can actually see all the pull requests that are uh, open on that re particular repository. I can click on one of them. This looks good. Use app formatting. And then when I click on description, you kind of get the, the main page. Like if you're in GitHub itself and there's the main overview page of the pull request, you can see it right there. And then you can drill into any one of the files. And like this is one of the things where, where on the VS Code side, we did uh, a bunch of API work. You can see if, as I hover around here, if I click on it, now you can actually do a discussion inline nice. in the editor. So that's the APIs that we provide that then, uh, they then show up. And, and yeah. this way, like the comments too that will come in, you know, will show up in your code, and this will then immediately show back up on, on GitHub if somebody is, yeah, is looking at yeah, it, Yeah, right? definitely. And what's cool about it is, is you know, if I want to go and actually work on this or look at it, I can just click on Checkout, and I don't have to go and find out what branch or area it is, and just check out, checks it out locally. So, you know, my, my branch will change locally, and then I can start use all the features of VS Code, like go to definition and find all references, because I've, you know, with one click, now I have everything locally on my machine. So now, when I'm reviewing a pull request, it's not just browsing the source code. I can run it. I can, you know, find other places where maybe some additional changes need to be made. So that's kind of one of the, the cool things that's come out recently that I'm excited about. And, and that was partially built by some of the new, I guess, like API editions that were in, like, the, the latest version of Visual Studio Code. Is that correct? Is yeah. That, I understand that correctly, that that's what kind of allowed this... Yeah. To be able to exist? Yep, yep. Like, like I said, during this, uh, this collaboration, we went back and forth on what they needed, and we added those over the past three, four, five months. Um, and uh, yeah, and so that's how it came about. Awesome. So when, when um, and, and it, it's for GitHub now, but, uh, but other uh, providers could, could other maybe Other providers can write or... extensions that are similar to this one. So Bitbucket, DevOps, whatever, whatever they want to do, they can plug into it. Yeah. Awesome. Do you have any like roadmap stuff? Is a sense of like, uh, you know, Code reviews or other GitHub e things, you know, issues like this opens up a potential world. Like they have the OctaCAD kind of backend API. Right. You could build lots of cool things, not just pull requests into into this if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think a lot of that will be driven by what feedback we get from people. Right. So this mm. is the idea. Like, what's good about this is this is something that we can all dog food because. VS Code, we build it in GitHub, and so we get tons and tons of pull requests. Oh, so you're using this API? Yeah, yeah, the entire yeah, You're team. using that extension yourself? We're using the extension, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And so that's the best sort of feedback, the dog food and feedback. And then over time, you know, first thing I want, the squash and merge button. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Because um, uh, that's how I do all my pull requests. All of, <laughs> all, of my yes. all of my commits are like, will this work? This sucks. I'm a bad programmer. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to, like, when I get it working, I just want to squash it so it looks like I just got it on the first so you try. got yeah. it done. I totally knew what I was doing. Everything that's, was that's, cool. That's so where can people give the show. feedback, though? Like, how do, you, how do we know you're listening? Oh, so you can go into, uh, so in any of these extensions, really, with VS Code, there's a, a link to the repository. Mm -hmm. And up there, you can put in issues. And we're very active up there. Uh, so you'll know that, that we're listening because we'll be active. <laughs> <laughs> our, so all the extensions are, are, are open source. It's yeah. Like yeah. They're all open source. All, all the ecosystem of VS Code is open source. Yes. Yes, it is. That's sweet. That's one of my favorite things about it, honestly. Um, when I first started using you know, code, I didn't know how much I would like using like, an electron-based editor. I was like, I don't know if this is going to be, will this really be able to replace TextMate in my heart? And yes, it actually <laughs> it has. It all has. Right. It has. Um, especially you know, being able to write your own uh, you know, scripts and extensions and, and additions and, and uh, that stuff, snippets. Uh, this, the uh, you know old uh, snippet support was certainly helpful for me because I had certain text made things that I needed yep. to bring over you know personally, which I, I could then convert it. It was actually a fairly easy process, so it's good. I actually uh, had some uh, interns on my show on Azure Friday, which is a little show, a little video show that I do, and these were interns that had never done any work anywhere near Visual Studio Code, and they were able to work on an extension. They were like really impressed at how easy it was to, in fact, write an extension. Like, which were, extension was it? Is that the ACR? The I ACR? think it was the, the Azure Container Registry yeah. extension. These were, <laughs> these were like high school students. That's awesome. Yeah, they were awesome. They, they were, were, they we were, were crazy team. good. They were crazy good. Yeah, yeah. We're just waiting for the pull request was it to be accepted. The, was yeah. it because the interns were good or because yeah. the extension model for VS Code is just that good? Maybe, maybe a little of both. Maybe a little of both. Awesome. Well, they were amazing. And you can actually go and see that Azure Friday uh, episode where the interns are on, on, they came on the show and showed me how they wrote it. Yeah, it's really awesome. cool. That was an awesome, uh, so we're literally waiting for that pull request yeah. to be brought in. Oh, seriously? Yeah, they, they yeah. So will, might that become part of the pack? 
Yeah, that'll be, yeah, that'll be in the Docker extension. Right, it'll come into the you Docker extension. You heard it here first. Oh my there. gosh, so Docker extension and built by the interns. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's the beauty of it, right? And the best thing is that even though they're going back to school, they're still on the hook for the repository. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They have love no it. choice. They still have to do 20 it. 20 years, they have to maintain <laughs> like forever. it. Like forever, you've got to be the maintainer forever. That's, right. yeah. that's really good. <laughs> Is there anything else that's kind of uh, uh, coming up that you guys want to kind of tease or, or that you're excited about? Anything happening with code? Uh, Matt? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I think one of the things we're going to be looking at is just generally trying to make connecting the pieces a little bit easier. Like you mentioned the connection string stuff that you had to go copy and then put it into the app service extension. Trying to help automate that process and okay. just make that like a single click. That's, that's something. Um, really just trying to get a hold of customers. So if you're using this stuff, send me an email, tweet at me. <laughs> tweet, it, tweet, tweet, tweet at Matt. Yeah. Let him know. Um, and also, he'll be tech support for you. So yeah, I've just volunteered <laughs> yeah, you now. One of the things that I've been impressed with is not just being able to open up a PowerShell window uh, you know, inside of VS Code or a bash, a local bash using mm -hmm. Ubuntu on Windows, but also an Azure shell mm -hmm. uh, and connecting. And then there's another extension I've been using lately called Spot. Mm, which yeah. lets you fire oh, up yes. a container in the cloud and connect to that. So if you need a container that has Go or a container that has certain, you know, th certain things pre-installed, yeah. you say, I need a spot for myself, oh. connects to your ACI, you get per second billing on a container. You can say any container image you want and then you're in there and uh, you're in v VS Code, you look at your local PowerShell, your local bash, you're up in the cloud and Azure Cloud Shell, you're in a spot and it's all in one place. That's did, really cool. Did you know, Scott, that you can run code dot in the cloud shell? I did know that <laughs> yes. because I went to shell.azure.com and I was thought I was on my local machine <laughs> and I typed code dot and then I went huh? <laughs> and then I was like, is this allowed? What's happening? And you have like a text editor in the cloud shell. Yeah, it is the exact same editor that is in Visual Studio Code but yeah. hosted in the browser because VS Code is a HTML and TypeScript, JavaScript, Electron-based app. Um, and that editor is actually the first thing that we built a, a few years ago and is in a lot of web properties, but we were able to reuse that uh, in the Cloud Shell to let you do uh, lightweight editing there. Uh, so you get syntax colorization and things like that. Right. And uh, actually there's an explorer there as well. Yeah. You, and that is actually the explorer. And it's way Code. better. If you're someone that goes up to Cloud Shell and then you're used to running Pico mm -hmm. or Vim yeah. and then you can't exit Vim, so you have to reboot all of <laughs> Azure to get out of Vim, you just run code dot and you're in that current directory. Yep. Yeah, no, and it, it's great. Do you, do you have any plans of, of maybe eventually adding an extension support or, or anything like that, even like maybe select extensions that might be able to work in, in Cloud Shell? Uh, the first thing we're trying to do is get uh, better language service support. Makes sense. Um, because it's, it's, everything's running in the browser at that right. point, but all the language services that are running, um, like in VS Code, run in separate processes. Um, and so we're trying to improve the language service support up there so you get a richer syntax colorization experience. Um, and then we'll go from there. And it's, it's, it's what's the feedback, right? It's like how people respond to it and what we get from feedback and where we want it to go is a lot of what will guide how far we, we take that. So definitely. That's, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, because it would be cool. I mean, obviously, since it is, like you said, it's JavaScript, you know, TypeScript, like electron based, to, if you don't want the full experience, you know, that's not possible to have some of your favorite things, you know, based on, on what you're doing. Yep. But yeah, that makes sense. It's really cool. I think we're out of time. Yes, we are out of time. Already? So, yes, that's it. But uh, thank you guys, and you can uh, check out Visual Studio Code at code.visualstudio.com. And tweet at us. And tweet at us. <laughs> at code. We'd love at to hear code. from our users. Yes. You, actually, you actually listen? You're watching that Twitter account? All the time. <laughs> Go at code. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>